Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Microsoft Teams error message. We're sorry, we've run into an issue that is preventing you from signing into your Microsoft Teams account. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. You want to double click on your drive where Windows is installed. It should have a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Just so double click on it. Do the same thing now for the Users folder. And now double click on your user account name. So double click on it. And there should be an App Data folder in here. If you don't see it, you may have hidden files and folders hidden from view. So you have to select the three dotted icon up here to show more. And then you would select Options and select the View tab. And make sure Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives is selected. Select Applying, okay? And now go underneath the App Data folder. Double click on it. Same thing for the Local folder. And same thing for Microsoft. Same thing for Office. There should be an Office folder in here. So double click on it. And there should be a number. So it might be 16.0 or it could be a different version number. But there's only should be one folder in here that has a number. So double click on it. And now you want to go locate the Office File Cache folder, so double click on it. If you see any items in here that start with FSD or FSF in the file name, so it would say FSD or FSF, all capital letters, you would delete them, so just highlight over them and then right click and then delete, or you could press the delete key on your keyboard as well, whatever you prefer. But you go ahead and delete any items in there that have the FSD or the FSF in the file name right in the beginning. Delete them, close out of everything, and then restart your computer. So you go ahead and restart at this point. So there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.